Hello, my fellow marketplace minions. I'm sure you know exactly what we are doing today. We are returning once again into Empire Total War. However, I must apologize that we're not doing the Empire 2 Total War mod anymore. Unfortunately, the amount of consistent updates seemed to not bode well with recording very frequently. Because whenever there'd be an update that would fix something, I couldn't use the, re the recording anymore. I don't know why, but it just became incompatible with each previous version and I wouldn't be able to load the save game. So that sucks immensely. And what we're going to do today is we're going to be playing the Imperial Splendor Rise of the Republic mod. Now, as you might have guessed, this mod takes place roughly around the French Revolution. So you've, you've had the American Revolution. 1783, I do believe, is the start date for this. And when we go into check out the Grand Campaign, yeah, I've got the uh, All Factions Enabled sub-mod because you can't play as all these originally. And the options, you know, they're, they're not a lot, really. It's, it's the late campaign. It, it really gives you what you get. But what we're going to play today... I believe it's going to be, uh, something really saucy. Uh, yes, it is. The frogs in 1783. But the goal, you see, is to not create the French Revolution. Because I don't like that. That is nasty. So you must understand we're going to be playing as the Royalists. And if you wanted a Republican play... Go find it somewhere else on YouTube, because this ain't the bit. No. Vive le roi and all that stuff. So we're doing the short campaign, capture and hold 20 regions by the end of 1803, including in New France, Corsica, New York, uh, Confederation of New England, Leeward Islands, Pennsylvania, Cherokee Territory, uh, Savoy, Algonquin Territory, Liguria, Michigan Territory, and France. So basically reconquer North America and retake what we lost during the Seven Years' War. We're going to do the hard campaign difficulty and the normal battles so that we don't massacre ourselves unintentionally here. But we are going to go and get, give it a go then, eh? And there you are. Who would have thought? This is it right here indeed. This is the stuff. Welcome to the war. We have the map of Europe. As you can tell, things look rather different. This mod tremendously overhauls the graphical features of Empire Total War, which is very nice to see. And it looks like starting off, we've got a bit of a fleet over here. Charles Henri Comte de Stang. I s yeah, de Stang. I don't, it's a funny place, I don't know. But for some reason, and I don't quite appreciate this, there's a British field force under George Augustus Eliot. It just happens to be sitting in Normandy. And I'm not a fan. I am not a tremendous fan of that. And it looks like there's also a British bloody gentleman down here. Well, let's use our little buffoon. A buffoon indeed. Let's try and duel him in a real frog style. Let's see the dueling result. Who's going to win? Little cinematic film. Oh dear. We're running him right off. Oh, oh dear, we're coming back. Oh no. Oh. No, get go uh, the other way. Uh oh. Oh, looks oh. Mm -mm. I think we won. I'm pretty sure the one in white was probably me. No, we didn't win. Okay. That, uh, that didn't go very well. That's unfortunate. But we do have this lovely thing here. He is our spy. So let's try now to assassinate. Yes, this is, uh, that didn't work either. This is not going very well now, is it? No, okay, let's do some technological research. How about advanced irrigation? Yeah, plus 0.4% of the population growth impact of farms. Reduces the chance of food shortage, plus 10% wealth generated by farms, and we do need the cash. 
So let's go for that. And then, Leon, what can you do? Society of Science. Ooh, plus 6% to technology research. That's really nice. Okay, that's that sold me already there. So we're going to go get that. Now, we do need to do a bit of consolidation of our forces, both field and naval. So let's go see what fleets do we have. So we got this one here. Now, what I would like to do is somehow, do we have a fleet in the Mediterranean at all? I know we used to. Do we not? No, I guess not then, eh? Oh, well then. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and toss these up. Is this the commercial basin? Naval base? Yeah. Let's put a ship in here and take the other two over to the trade port to defend that. Just in case the English get uppity, you know. We're getting, ooh, nice chunk of change in next turn. See, our people aren't tremendously happy here, so let's lower that a bit. They're all right, they're all right in America. Let's see, how's the government? Status quo. He's something of a banker, so he's all right for the treasury. Ooh. Well, that guy's not. He's a bit mixed. He's half and half. This guy's quite good for the justice. How about the army? Absolutely terrific. Felipe. Wonderful. And you're very good for the navy. That's nice. And Guillaume. Eh, he has nothing special. Do we have anything more fantastic? Oh, you're you're uh Yes, you're you're very nice. Let's put you as the head of government. Nothing nice there. Hmm. Status quo. Status quo and tactician. And what was this guy? Jughead. Plus one happiness for lower class. That's probably a good thing. Okay, he's overall not too bad. So I think we'll stick with him. We're allied with Austria, and the Marathas, Sweden, Ottomans, Spaniards, and the Yankee Doodle Dandies. Let's open up some trade. We're quite friendly with Sweden, so I do believe we should trade. 520. Do I have to? Can I give you military access? I can. Oh, good. Let's, uh, let's do the Ottomans. We are allied with them, and they do have some riches of the east. Now, what if we do this military access again? Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? The Marathas, we are also allied to, and they were openly accepting that without a hesitation. That's fantastic. Let's try Russia here. Ah, very good. How about Prussia? Can we also gather ourselves an alliance? No, you were insulted monstrously. But yeah, we'll go ahead and do that pay for trade deal. Hessen Castle. We should probably have a trade with you. Unacceptable, that's fine. You're not important enough to me to care. Württemberg, however. Let's do try and be on good terms. Yes, we got an alliance there. And I did that because they're right here. They're right on our border. And I don't really want to have to use these troops against them, in fair honesty. We want to, I do believe, go to war with Britain. So let's see. Austria, who are you allied with? Spain, Russia, and me. Britain, who are you allied with? Nobody of consequence, really. So we could go to war with you right now. I could give you a nice smack, and you'd be ever so pleased. Oh, Hannah, we got... Okay, we don't have Indian colonies, but somehow we've got a bloody navy over here. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's bring it back to Europe, however. 
Not quite sure. Oh dear, there's a British fleet. That'll probably come and get us. Let's put these ships in here to defend the port. Up here, yes, this is going to be a bit of a thing, isn't it? Well, at least we've got a bit of a force that we can fight the English with in the colonies. Or the British, yes. That force is actually pretty, uh, pretty significant there. Domingo. We are going to have to garrison that port, though, however. So let's take... Ooh, who should we do? We should probably use... Who does garrison policing? Oh, neither of you. Oh, who cares then? Send the militia. Oh, oh okay. They can't move yet, but they will next turn. All right, then we got these ships here. This is Spanish. Oh, yes, that's right. That happened, didn't it? Uh, so we don't need those ships over there now. We can bring them down to the Windward Islands, protect that port, and please quicken up the speed. Now on the list, any other fleet that we haven't tickled yet? We did you. We haven't done you yet. I didn't realize you were here. Let's take you over here. Now, the British fleet is going to be a bit of an unfortunate thing to deal with. However, the army will likely be a piece of cake. Let's see, can I actually fight? You, I can. So let's take... Who's the better commander? Best of attacker, frontiersman. Oh, wow, okay. You have absolutely everything. So I do think we're going to use you. So let's take these troops up to you. Oh, here we go with this nonsense, yes. Oh, but they can do that. I don't understand. Bring you up as reinforcements. That I do believe. We got you here. Hess Castell. Yeah, just let's just take these troops. We'll use them for the invasion of England. So apparently can't move them anymore. That's sucky. How about? Okay, but we can move them two inches. That's... <sighs> eh. Well, that's that. We obviously don't have the Canadas anymore, so that's something we're going to have to get back. We're allied to the United States, which is very handy. Alright, other than that, I think that's it. I think we're, we're good to have the battle here. So let's go ahead and see what we can pull off against the British army here. Oh, hold on. Why do we have no artillery? We have absolutely zero artillery. So this is what we're making first. Let's see, what can we make? That's gonna be a howitzer. Okay, you got a 50 accuracy. Ooh, 45, that's a bit better. These ones are better. Oh, but they're expensive. Okay, um, howitzer, and the cannon. Why do they have so much? But then again, we got a ton of cavalry. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for those guns, are we not? That's really unfortunate. All right, well, let's end the turn and see how it goes because that's pretty much all we can do. Oh dear. Russia's attacking Sweden. As happens. So, the question here is, do we, do we help Sweden? Meanwhile, uh, Russia's got all these friends. Eh, I don't feel like fighting that at the moment. Seek indeed. 
Uh, an agent? That is monstrous. Okay. Now, can we go try and uh, kill this guy again? I don't want to... Ah, did it happen? Your opponent killed. Oh. Somehow we lost our alliance with Austria. Hello, my people. Why do you got your bloody artillery? Good God. So who are you allied to? Everybody I don't want to fight. Sounds about right. Okay. Now, we have got... Oh, yes, we have indeed. Got these ships here. Which we're going to bring over here. That's very nice. Yes. And let's transport troops over to England. I do believe we're going to need some more artillery than this, so... Get some more guns, if you please. And that's all we can bloody recruit to uh, kick things off. Just going to keep bringing all our troops over. Now, ha England, have you, uh, have you allied anybody? Nobody really uh, terrifying, so we're okay there. Let's keep bringing this little boat back home. You're all right. Yes, you're... Who can we take from here? Colonial militia to defend the port. And... Yes, we're going to want to bring those ships over there. And you... You were going to go play up here. Please protect my trade. And was it just one ship here? No, we got two. Oh, we got an admiral. L do let us bring the admiral over here. Ah, Dutch boat. So there we go. Unfortunately, in all avenues, uh, the Royal Navy is tremendously superior. So do, however, do not fret. We shall attack. Well, it's fun to be a fairy tale porcupine, isn't it? Russia, are you absolutely mad? None of this nonsense. I will allow you access, however, if you want to be my friend. Ugh. Eh, are you being stupid? You are being a giant skunk. War. Ha ha. Squish it. You are not going to do these things. Do you understand? Forty. <laughs> Defeat. Absolutely. Guess what? You're getting it. Jolly big skunk. Because we got this. You're just so lucky. We've not gone to war yet, have we? Ah. A little fish dip. Go to Kon. We gotta take all the gunk. They will not stand. They will not. Mm. Dear me. Can I build any buildings, please? Ah, there's a farm. We will do such a thing. Because the money's getting low. And I don't appreciate that rubbish. Goody goody. Such gumdrops. Alright, let's focus on beating the absolute snot out of these castles. Oh, I do agree. A best friend for me. Diddly dum did did diddly dum. Into it. We've got the guns. And you will absolutely march through Belgium. My dear, dear friends, William Hamilton, I do need to off you. Ever so discreetly. I am pleased. The fleet has arrived, my dear squidlets. Bring it up to merge. I am thrilled that the opponent has been killed. This is a filthy trick. Absolutely filthy trick. 
I I'm I'm absolutely perturbed by such an occurrence. Let's find another cheap shit shack to build. Can we do such a thing? No. How about the roads? Any roads? We can't even build bloody roads. So we shall wait for this to return to our power. How are you being such a goddamn hypocrite? For sake, da! Ah! Oh! Oh, they would be so nice, wouldn't they? Why would I want that crap? Excuse me. Can I pay you a thousand to go away? Unworthy. I don't, uh... I don't believe I see the usefulness of such a peculiar offering. Ugh. Oh, God, 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 no. Ah, uh, the war tax has got to come out. I'm so sorry, my dear squidlets. Do tax the rich. Huh. <sighs> So this unfortunate sea right here is what started all the trouble. God, and we can't even take the damn thing yet. Oh my lord. Okay. Can we? Can we please? I don't know, get these up to, he get up to here. Let's absolutely smash Britain's ability to build anything because that is going to be tremendously helpful yeah trading port knock out all their bloody money you're doing this crap to me well I'm gonna do you a favor and knock the snot out of you very good can we please send this guy over to England embark and toss him off at the cliffs of Dover. I would love you to absolutely sabotage the army board. This is a real fucking duh titcho titcho. Oh no. What's happening in America? Could we regain some of our colonial possessions, perhaps? Now that we got this boat. Let's go see. Oh, that would be an easy taken, wouldn't it, there? Hmm. Oh, God, it's so tiny. Can't even move anywhere, the damned army. Right. Take that port. That sucks. That really sucks. Jeez. So I can't do anything with these people at the uh, particular moment. So let's see about this next turn. Yeah, please, you'll take me back? Sure. Ah, oh, no, here they come. Oh. Spaniards. Is this an opportunity to die? This could be an opportunity to die. Um, what's that they got? Santissima. Last time we fought the British with the Santissima Trinidad, the bloody fleet was lost. Uh, yeah. Oh, Christ, what? Corsica. Who invades Corsica with... A full army of crackpots. This is just getting stupid. They're really trying to prevent Bloody Boney from coming about now, aren't they? Holy shit. This is terrifically terrible. This is a situation that has bumfucked us. Good god. Well, at least we got naval supremacy on the British Isles. This is what started off this whole bucket of crap. Surrender refused. 
Could I please have my town back? Uh, city defenses. All right, we'll continue the siege of that one. We're going to take Khan. That's just bloody Firelock Arms citizenry. We can take that nonsense immediately. Anything else that we can try to do? Ugh, not much looking good from that, is there? The Navy. Do attempt. Please. Let's go. Okay. Take this. You go back here. Uh, I should probably put you back in there. That's probably safer, isn't it? Well, it's always worth a, a try. Royal Marines. God help us. Okay, and then you guys, I guess you're going to go for Jamaica or something like that. A war with Hess and Britain. God. Right, let's have this. I'm sick and tired of the bloody Hess. Look at that rubbish. Firelock arms citizenry. Fight us. Spectacular sausages. They shall be guillotined. That was the quote on the loading screen. And I do indeed appreciate such a thing. Here we have some marshals of France, and apparently we have a bloody ton of generals. So we're just going to stick them back there. And then, yes, there are squids. Beautiful. And these are beautiful. Oh, delicious. And here we have a massive, absolutely massive force of cavalry. So we're going to put those, those ones on the left there. And we've got these little fish. Let's throw them on the right. And we got even more. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and throw these on the left as well. How about that then, eh? Beautiful. And we have some regular artillery here. Let's go ahead and toss these down over here, perhaps. I think, yeah. That should be a decent enough field of fire. Or bring them up here a little. Yeah, I, I believe that should be all right. I mean, we're only facing bloody armed citizenry, so it's not a lot to... Uh, really worry about, per se. The howitzers, these are going to be nice because they can fire over things. And yeah, they'll have a nice, nice range of fire there. Let's now uh, coordinate where we're going to put our line, which we don't have a massive amount of, but okay, bring them all back here so we can kind of separate. Right, what do we got here? Grenadiers, fusiliers, Let's take the Swiss line, and I'm going to throw a unit of them down there. They're in three ranks. No, they're not. Okay, that's weird. I don't like that. I like three ranks. There they go. That's better. Right, and then the Fusiliers, I do believe, would be very sufficient here. We're using the tighter formations, of course, yes, as we must to be more realistic. Yeah. And we got these grenadiers here. Now, let's go ahead and place these over on this side. And we've also got these fusiliers. So let's place those on the flank. Oh, we got more bloody cavalry here. Okay, we'll add a third one to the right flank. And then we got these fusiliers. Where should we plop you down? As the right, right over here would be okay. There we go. Hopefully they shall come to us, but if not, we can absolutely move. Right, let's see. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> let's try and throw down some fire on these clumps. Love those sounds. And that missed terribly. Here comes Howitzer. Yeah, okay. No, we didn't really do anything there, though. Explosive shell. Don't know why we didn't have that in place the first time, but... Okay, looks like they're trying to come through the 
town here. So we, we do have these troops here that can prepare to meet them. But if we look at it, this terrain is not... Ooh. Wow, okay. That, that took out uh, a couple guys there. So let's just keep firing down that alley then. That's pretty good. Houses. Oh, wow, okay. The howitzers really gave that armed citizenry a smack, didn't they? Okay, let's focus on that unit now, then. You shall not compete against the power of the French Royal Army. No, most certainly not. No, don't target the unit. Target the ground. Finding targeting the ground seems to be more beneficial. Oh. Yes. See, having the artillery is absolutely vital. Now, let's get this howitzer focusing over here. There we go. These should be some pretty nice shots. Oh, yeah. Look at those splashers. Let's do some carcass shot now. Really, uh, really unnerve them. Let's try over there. That would be a nice splash. A splash of carcass. It's wonderful. Let's try aiming down there. Now we have got this ton of cavalry over here, so let's try and flank them with it, shall we? I don't think they will like that very much. We have a huge bloody cavalry corps. God, massive. Absolutely surpasses in numbers anything else in our army. But cavalry has its uses. Yes, it does. Okay, they're, uh... Ooh, here's the carcass. Poison them! Yes, poison them all. Aw, oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so this is a nice spot to aim the howitzer. They're all kind of clumping up together there. Okay, are you people... I'm quite sure what you people are doing here. I think they're trying to come around and flank us somehow. Not sure how that's going to be beneficial for you. Bloody Hess declaring war on us. What in the world was that crap about? What could they possibly hope to achieve from this? This is absolutely diminishing them. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Here we are. Marvelous. Biological warfare? No, we don't partake in that. Although I feel like it's not doing as much damage as a explosive shot. So let's switch back over to the explosive shot. I think, yeah, let's, uh, let's aim down at these troops over here again. Now we do want to uh, take into account playing Imperial Splendor. We don't want to run our troops too much or have our people very, uh, very tired, see. It won't benefit us very well in the battle. Now, we could position ourselves a bit nicer here. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, just keep going for the center of that. that that's marvelous, that really is. And position ourselves a bit better here. And we're going to get round their flank. Don't worry about it. It'll be quite alright. Get round their flank with our cavalry there. And they're exposing themselves over here with this one unit of firelock armed citizenry. So let's try and do something about it. There we go. I like to form my nice pretty lines. Please do not judge me. Ooh, there's a good smacker right there. Here they come. Yeah, I mean, accuracy is not 10 out of 10 for anyone here, but... Yeah, actually, let's, let's continue aiming at the back of the line there. Right, fire. Fire charge. Bloody stupid twit. <laughs> Get a good downhill charge on these guys. Yeah. Yeah, and they're not they're not gonna fire yet, are they? No, they got <laughs> smacked. 
That was very nice indeed. Right, let's go in on you. Pull back that cavalry now. They're absolutely shattered. Love to see it. Really love to see it. Okay, you guys are broken. Let's pull back. Let's pull back them. Yeah, they've shattered now. Okay, we'll pull back both of you. And I do believe... Yes, it's safe to advance a little here. I've got us a better firing angle. Oh, it looks like they're trying to come after us here. Okay, do... Do try something here. Let's try and get around their flank. Canister? No, can't canister that. Right, I don't think they're, uh, they're going to be much of an issue. Wonderful. Okay, let's get the howitzers to target that unit there. Big boom. Yeah, oh wow, okay. See, this is the brilliant thing. I find the howitzers are really effective on the explosive shot. Didn't see... Tremendous results from the carcass, but the explosive is definitely where it is. I know this is just a little piss pot battle against freaking armed citizenry, and it's not really the tremendous value that you come to see, but would you look at that? Oh, beautiful. Just gotta shatter those fish right into the dust. Beautiful. You coming in here again? Shall I... Shall I flank you? I do believe I shall. Alrighty. Oh, very good. Alright, you guys down in there. You guys up in the flank there. Let's make sure you don't fire. There we go. And yes, the howitzers are still aiming to the rear. That's very good. Okay, you people, I don't... Yeah, all right. You do that type of shit. Let's try and get you in the rear here. Keep continuing the charge along into there. That should be quite all right. Now aim at those armed citizenry. Okay, Hazard, you go and charge after them. You can pull back. Yes, you please continue the charge. And all of you, charge over this way if you please. Artillery, limber up and stop firing. That would be unfortunate. Our, our cavalry is doing pretty good. Okay, you can, you can take a stop there. You're doing all right. So limber up the howitzer as well, and you should finish them off pretty good. Oh dear, these guys are back. Okay, you're shattered. Good. You come over here. You come this way. You're all, you're all busted up. All right. Let's finally deal with the last unit of the bloody armed citizenry here. Look at these skunks. They're gonna get smacked. Absolutely smacked. And it's going to be delicious, yes. Ah. Uh, oof. We took a hit there, though. That's not nice. Okay, let's pull back. Never mind. <laughs> they broke. Filthy. Okay. So we got to give it to them on that one. They actually managed to do all right there. But now we're going to get revenge... I hope we don't lose that unit completely. I hope it comes back when we get onto the campaign map. Oh, good. What, 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 ah, heroic. Yes, we smacked them all. Some glorious retribution, I believe, for attacking us monstrously like that. Ah, Abraham Hoffman, he got a real slap, didn't he? He lost to the capital. Ah, 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 ah. Now, unfortunately, we can't really... 
repair that. But we can try to replenish some of our troops. And they are angry as hell. But it's okay, Austria's allied. And now we just need to uh, lure them out of this. That's going to be a fun one, isn't it? We are going to need to make some militia or something. Yeah. Fusiliers and militia. Is that what these fusiliers are? Bloody militia. Oh, God, they are. Okay. But it doesn't seem they provide much of a garrison bonus, if any. Okay. Let's take you, and I realize there's another a British port up in Glasgow we can harass. Can we get to this other one? No, we can't. Damn. I'm going to go with you. Okay, we can with you. So, send you up to Newcastle. And then I'm going to split you off, and you're going to go over... There, to Greenwich. There, now we got all the British ports. Oh, damn. Freaking Belfast still. So many damn ports. Holy crap. Okay. I can't really take you out of there. You're, you're defending it. Well, I guess we're just going to have to go back and forth here with that one. Oh, there, there we go. The unfortunate thing down here is I think this British army is very capable of landing on the south of France. Coming in the back door at Marseille. That would be very nasty of them indeed. But they would be very capable. And then marching up to Paris with quite a force here. Light infantry, royal horse guards, dragoon guards, some cannons. Grenadiers, Highlanders. Some regulars. More lights and light dragoons. That's quite a field force they've got down there, especially for the early stages of the late campaign. And that's a pretty nice little Austrian army they got there. That's nice. But yes, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't look too nice. Looks like we got another scholar we can pop into there. Marburg. Oh, we gained another college. Okay. Let's bring you over. That's probably why. Duel. Oh, please, yes. That's probably why this place is very angry. If I get rid of it, they will be a little happier. Yeah, because that's minus six happiness. We don't need that many at this stage, really. We've got a lot of tech already. 1249. The cash is doing a lot nicer, I believe. <laughs> so now we just basically have to go and sit through the siege of uh, Strasbourg again. Even though it was ours. But that's how things go here. Over in America. Next turn we should be able to uh, take Valentin and capture Antigua from the British in, in, in the American theater. And then we're going to dispatch these troops from Hispaniola and we're going to go for Kingston. Knock them out of their essential supply port in Jamaica. Anyway, that's the grand tactical stage of things. We hope you've enjoyed the little harassment of the Hessen armed citizenry. That was a very unfortunate move on their end. But here are the state of things. I shall see you next time. Ta-ta.